Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. As House Beast, we are currently in a big civil war because our liege's liege lord, um, the uh, Lord Paramount Goth of the Reach has joined King Maka Valerion in his struggle against uh, Coheris Targaryen and his attack on the Iron Throne. Now, we have the King and we have the Vale and the Reach all against um, Coheris and his host of 17,900 men who are currently over here in Dawn. So, as of right now, we're actually losing the war, but I don't think that's really, um, I don't think that's, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be it. Um, soon enough, uh, we're gonna actually turn around this war and win. But for now, we're actually gonna have to pick a Castellan, and we have actually several members of our family, uh, I would, I always prefer family members, um, to put as Castellan. Now, we could put our rival as Castellan, I don't think I will do that. Uh, we have our commander of the City Watch, we're not gonna put him there. We have a vassal, but uh, he's very old and he has gonorrhea, so probably not gonna pick him. We have Imri Chester, but that is a different house Chester. Um, we could pick him, but he also is rather old, however, he wants to become Castellan. I think we might actually do this. Our son is currently off to war, or, well, fight with us, so... I think I'm gonna give the honor to Sir Imri Flowers and make him the castle and oversee the province of Old Town. But the honorary title of Master of Horse will probably. Well, designated region should probably be my son Walter. I think that only makes sense um, to give it to him. And the honor of Master of Horse we're probably gonna give to Master Elias of Far Eve, simply because his father has served us very long and very well, so he deserves this honorary title. Um, other than that, yeah, no more other titles to give out, so that's very good. So I'd say we just uh, continue on our voyage to the Iron Islands because we want to siege down Harlow Hill if possible because these guys have raided us once too often. So let's actually see what we can do. Um, we should probably send Walter um, to lead the siege simply because he is a siege leader. So if he can actually manage to give us uh, Harla Hill, then uh, we might give him Old Town, we'll see. Oh, may you live in harmony and contentment. I have discovered a plot where Samuel Blackman seeks to kill Lord Rui of Honeyhold. Isn't that funny? My rival, so we're obviously gonna imprison him immediately because he wants to, uh, well, kill me. So we're gonna send uh, Relno Valerian, suppress revolts just so that our, um, Imprisonment chance is increased. Yeah, 81. So, our arrest chance, not imprisonment. Arrest chance. So, arrest this cripple. Come on. It should be possible to arrest a cripple. Come on! Samuel managed to avoid my guardsman has fled to the court of Captain Orbello. Well, um, plot to kill him then, I guess, because he wants to kill us. So, let's see uh, if we can kill him. We have tons of people. Look at all these people that want to join us. Yep. I think this guy is pretty much dead. We could send for the Faceless Men. Look at all the people who want to kill Samuel Blackmon. This guy is really an idiot. But yeah, um, we're actually taking quite a lot of attrition here. Um, okay. Why are we taking bases 15? Hmm, that's unfortunate. We'll see how, how many men we'll actually lose. Hopefully not too many. And Walter! Was a son was born to Sir Walter Beesbury and Rael, Princess Rael of Honeyhold, named Franklin. Okay, and he looks quite Valyrian. Um, Franklin is probably not the name I want to go with. Um, what are we gonna name him? Hmm. I don't actually know what we're gonna name him. Uh. Hmm. Branston, Isaac the Unlucky, perhaps we want to give Isaac a chance, Isaac was our father so we're gonna give Isaac another chance, this will be Isaac, okay, there we go, Walter's son, Isaac, and my liege, my work in Torn Peak seems to have come to fruition, my bribing, okay so we actually get a claim on Brightwater Keep, now things really get interesting now, Okay, so we're currently over here. Are we even sieging? We're not sieging the castle. 
it appears to me. Okay, so we're, this is completely useless. Um, and winter's coming to an end. Okay, so we're actually gonna come back because apparently we cannot even siege this castle, which is very unfortunate, so this was all for naught. But at least we tried. It's a symbol, symbolic victory or a symbolic... Well, it's a gesture, I guess. A symbolic gesture, whatever. Um, we send our men, and we could have taken the castle eventually, but we decide not to because we currently have a claim over here. So we're gonna send um, our ships back, send our men, raise them again, and uh, take Brightwater Keep from Lord Leo Hightower. And my, Lyra, my co-conspirator, has sent word that a massive pit of menu has been prepared on the floorboards of an abandoned inn on a path that someone will travel with an escort. Why would he even have an escort? Simply because he's noble? Or be because he's a cripple? We'll see. Kaboom. Approve the plan. Let's see our rival dead. Because he wants to kill us. And we have given birth to another son, Tristam Beesbury. Okay, well, we're gonna call him after our grandfather, um, Jackson. I think that makes a lot of sense. So, our, our son's son is Isaac, and our second son is now known as Jackson Beesbury. Okay. Uh, we might actually give him command of a castle at some point, but we'll see. For now, uh, let's stand down our men, and, uh, Let's see if we can declare this war. Claim Brightwater Keep will do that. Simply because we want to hurt the high towers as much as we possibly can. We could call in some allies. Um, this guy does not want to come to our aid. The three towers. The uplands would come. Okay, but I don't think we need them. We have Norcross. Okay, he would also join our... And the Shield Isles would not... Neither would Grey Shield. Nor Yelshire. How are we allied to him? I don't know why we could call in this guy. Alright. It does not matter. We are going to mass our troops in uh, Honeyhold. And then we'll see how this war goes. As Samuel perished in the menu explosion, there is no trace of my complicity to be found amongst the rubble. Okay, now we killed him simply because he's our rival. I don't think that it really matters concerning our traits. We tried to duel him before. It didn't work. And now he tried to kill us. And that's why we... It tried to imprison him, and uh, he fled, so now he needs to die. Uh, easy as that, and, well, no more plots. Awesome. Okay. So let's continue. Mass our troops in Honeyhold, and um, Lord Luther, he wants us to stand down our troops, and we will not do that. We will not stand down our troops. We'll continue this, this fight, um, despite our lieges, well this may whatever okay come on merge us units 5,800 men and we are going to lead the charge and we're gonna have Walter at our flank now we're gonna have Edward at this flank and Walter on this one and um, yeah let's move march on Brightwater keep although these guys will arrive on 1st of August so perhaps yeah we're gonna kill them they're gonna arrive they're just gonna stay over here. So in the lands of Bandala, the lands of Garland and Bros, we're gonna attack these guys. And winter comes to an end in Honeyhold. So so did it in Old Town, right? No, we still have mild winter in Old Town. Okay, so once the modifier goes away in Old Town, we will um, start building some more buildings. Okay, we actually took a river crossing, but it shouldn't really matter that much. These guys are already running, and he has hired some hedge knights. Interesting. Well, it's not going to help him. We just completely annihilated his army. Awesome. And so Wallace the Clueless was captured in battle and is now a prisoner. Okay. He must be a hedge knight. Anyways, we do not care. We're going to march on Bratwater Keep now. Yeah, we almost, yeah, we're almost immediately won. Okay, what are we going to do with our prisoner? We're probably going to just uh, ransom this guy. Um, don't really care about him too much. Is he, uh... I wonder if he's highborn. Let me check this out. He is. So perhaps we're gonna put him in house arrest. Because that's usually what you do with highborn people. Put them in house arrest. And... Traitor working with the besiegers has eroded the morale of the defenders. Well, there you go. We're actually leading the assault. Uh, we could make our son. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give command of the siege to our son, Walter. 
we're going to command the flank while he uh, has command of the center. That's going to ma make it faster. Um, and I think as soon as he takes over, we're going to give him Honey Hope. If he gets to uh, siege Brightwater Keep, which, well, shouldn't be that difficult, we're going to give him Honey Hold. And uh, because now he ha does have the sun, he has proved himself worthy, and then he can start um, to to rule or learn rule in his in his own right. How's our grandson doing, by the way? Isaac. Okay. Well, he's looking all right, I guess. Um, hopefully, you are still going to be able to educate our grandson. I'm not entirely certain on this, but perhaps we're just going to die anyway because we have the bloody flocks. We'll see, I guess. And um, our second son, Jackson, he will quite probably then get get the control over Brightwater Keep once we form the High Lordship. We'll see. And Sobregul and Vermithor have met in fierce combat, and obviously Sobregul has lost against, look at that powerful dragon Vermithor, who's the father of Melees. Okay, so Sobregul, obviously a 12-year-old dragon, has died. And I think Lord Viserys has died. No, he's still alive. He's only wounded. Well, I don't think it was a very important dance or very interesting dance to watch. These guys just got got smashed. Um, but yeah, we've almost breached our Bratwater. There it is. My lord, I'm pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after a successful siege of Bratwater Keep. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment. Yours humbly, Sir Walter. Okay, so, so Lord Leo, Sir Aris Florent, and Hopper Florent are being imprisoned, and we actually gained some money. And Mild Winter has ended in Old Town. Okay, so one thing after another. Uh, let's see who we have actually imprisoned. Um, Aries Florent. Leo. Um, now we're gonna ransom him. Why? Because, why not? Um, this guy is imprisoned. Um, I'm think I think it's just gonna ransom him because we're gonna get some money out of it. Ransom him, and that's gonna weaken uh, the uh, the high towers even more. Actually, he probably not ha he doesn't have to pay it for it himself. I think this guy can pay for it. Yeah, he he can probably pay for it himself. The fever has broken, perhaps only temporary, but all but I can still see the shadowy figures lurking in the corners. Are they real? Oh my God, we're so ill that we turn a lunatic. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Well, the ransom has been paid. It was still the 100%. So... Okay, he accepted the offer. We have taken over Bratwater Keep. Stand down our troops. And now we have to arrange a couple of things. We are a lunatic. But, uh... Yeah. Wow, that's a shame. We are a lunatic. We are just mad. <sighs> well, send over. Yeah, ransom the prisoner. And what to do now? Now we are a lunatic, but we have designated our son as regent. And uh, we can still kind of give orders, but we're also very sick, although we have fought. Ah, you know what? I did not. We shouldn't have let the troops. Because we've been sick. We have let troops while being sick. That's that's wrong. I just noticed this. I think the game should not allow you to have to lead armies if you're ill. I don't know. You just shouldn't really do that. Especially not as a craven. Uh, I just messed up here. But oh well. I think we would have taken Bratwater Keep anyways. But yeah, so essentially that means that Walter has taken Bratwater Keep together with our other commander. And now he's kind of just in command of everything. We're at home and sick, so we should probably resign from this guy's uh, council because we're at home. Um, we should be sick, so we're no longer Castellan. We're a lunatic guy. <sighs> wow, this is uh, actually getting quite confusing. Um, we're Lord of Brightwater, and we have promised Walter to give him. Well, what? We can only give him Old Town Brightwater Keep. Why can we not give him Honeyhold? This is odd. I cannot give him... Hmm. I don't know why that is. You probably want to train the children. Oh, yeah, we have children here. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, we have to claim a Dunn's Bridge. So I guess you're just gonna improve relations with the uplands. Hmm. So things are a little bit odd, but we will uh, build upgrade this to larger states. So we are a mad ruler now, and that really throws me off. As you can probably tell. I don't really know what to say. Uh, but we have given orders to do certain things. So I think all we had said before, um, like building up Old Town. Uh, all the way to the siege tunnels. We have given these orders before, so people will continue to do that, even though we're mad now. Um, we'll see how our madness evolves. Uh, right now, I think we're just too weak to actually really give any new orders. So our regent, um, Walter, is going to do most of the decisions, and um, also our castellan is going to take care of the affairs of Old Town, and that is Sir Imri Flowers, and we have told him that he should just build up the defensive of Old Town. Good. So I think that's the way we're gonna go. And uh, Mega Targaryen is now has hatched a new dragon and called him Sunshine. That is a very nice name for a dragon. All right. So let's continue uh, to to the heroic Lord Rui. Peace be with you. Accept paying a ransom for the safe return of Sir Ares. Oh, so she's actually why is she paying for it? Lady of the Lordship of Amberley. Okay. How's Old Flowers? Uh, I think that's the family that rules over Somerset. They have another castle over there. Interesting. And you want to make me Seneschal. No, I have to decline because I'm ill. I can't really attend um, your council meetings right now. I have other things, other matters to attend to. I'm a lunatic. However, I think what we're going to do is we will actually hold a tournament of Old Town now simply because... We have taken over Brightwater Keep, and we have something to celebrate. Now, it's very annoying for me that I can't grant Honeyhold to Walter, so perhaps that's going to be another thing I have to do. Console commanded. Don't like using the console that much, but I don't want to give him Brightwater Keep. I only want to give him Honeyhold. Um, oh well. But yeah, let's actually hold a grand tournament. Yes, we will do that. Um, a larger regional tournament. Yeah, we have enough money, so let's do that. Good. Perhaps a mad character could face a dragon? Possibly, but we're ill at the moment, so we're, we're probably not going to be able to do this. My prisoner, Hopperful Rent, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon. Um, now, we are mad. We are lunatic. So I think we're just going to let him rot. We just don't care about this guy. I'm not entirely sure if that is the right. We're not. We're still not cruel or anything. I think we just. We just don't really care about it that much. We have our nephew as our squire. It's time to let the tournament begin. Okay. Can I make him do anything? No. It's my sister's son. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, we have these three castles. We now have Brightwater Keep, and our brother is still the Lord of Norcross. I wonder if he has a son by now. No, he still does not have a son. His wife is also turning old again. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Um. Fine joust of them all. I don't think we're going to have to watch every single tilt. That might get a little bit boring. And Branston is actually stressed. Everyone was enjoying the fine display of jousting when Tenton Redding and Sir Walden Durwell were paired up. In the last tilt, Tenton did not fare well, as Sir Walden's lands found a gap in the armor, cruesomely impelling him. So, who died? Um, Tenton Redding is, has died, I think. Yep, he was slain by Walden Durwell. Is he my courier? No, he's heir to the Lodge of the North March. Interesting. Um, they say that Dra Septon Jarman is riding Moon. What a West Valyrian Septon! That's very interesting. He's riding Durman, Moon Dancer. No, there you go. That's a that's quite quite a strong dragon. Prince Rhaegar Valerian is riding Vermithor. Wow, fifteen year old. He is King Damien's son. He is the brother of the current king, and he's now riding. Vermthor the Bronze Fury. Awesome, look at that. Wow. That's a very powerful dragon. And look at that guy. Prince Rhaegar. Skilled fighter. A squire still. 
So Mathoth Redding and Medgar Staunton. So Mathoth is has been declared the winner. He is a genius. He's just a duelist, really. How's Redding? And he's married to Lady Annette Bova. Hmm. So a new house is going to take over the lands of Black Crown. A worthy champion. So Courtney Morgan be declared the winner. Courtney Morgan. Could I invite you to my court? Yes! Courtney Morgan would actually come to my court. He's quite a good lad. He's a squire, skill fighter, attractive. So we're going to invite him to our court and I think we will grant him knighthood. Um, because he has won our tournament, right? So might as well have him in our court. And my son is still my friend. Um, he wants to make me chief general. Nope. And this guy has accepted. Okay, and why can I not... Can't grant... Oh, he's a knight already. Okay. Awesome. Glorious event. So he has... Simply because he won, I think he's been knighted. I could imagine. What's this? Wow, Great Rick is coming. So let's raise our men. Actually. All of them. Yeah. We've been prepared. And uh, we get extra morale of armies because of our mace set. Look at this. Yeah. Throw them back at the sea. Stupid ironborn. We don't like your kind. Guess we're no longer come out. Who's this? Inchfield is at war. Against the rule of Lord Paramount Garth of the Reach. Yeah. He is lost. What an idiot. Why would he even declare war against a Lord Paramount if you're just a lord? Very stupid. Now we're still at war with Koharius. No, he has been beaten. Koharius Targaryen. Lord Garland Vandalen. Hmm. Alright. So Old Town, we're currently building the large estates, and then we can build up the siege towers. We'll up to trebuchets next time. So what are we gonna do now that we're mad? What kind of focus will we pick? The Mad King was mad, but he was mad and cruel and and that. We're not like that, we're different. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my nephew Andrian had insulted her again. Um. But my dear lady, you are fat. That's what an honest person would say when neither honest nor anything else. Um, punish him for his insults. Do we punish him? We are wroth. But I don't know. We're also humble. We're gregarious. Socially, it says we're socially competent. We're also mad. I think we're gonna punish him for his insults. Or praise his honesty? No. I think we're just gonna punish him for his insults. Yep. You will be punished. He's no longer honest. Lord Ruby, I hereby invite you to participate in the Tourney of the Red Lake. Okay, Lord Donald the Gentle of Red Lake is inviting us. Now we are... No, we are... We're ill. A foolish risk for fleeting glory. Yeah, I think we're not going to accept that. We're just too ill to do that. Um, and we're not going to go there. We have lost prestige for that, but that is... That is fine. There's not really anything we can do. Then we have Harbor Florent. How is Florent at our mercy? Um, alright, well, we don't really care about them too much. Ransom all the prisoners. But they can't pay for it, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Once you appoint as a commander, we do not accept. Hmm. So yeah, that's that, I guess. We now have Bratwater Keep. So we already have the, uh, we already have the claim on Dunsbridge. We could take it. Um, but, ooh, thank the gods. I haven't coughed for, for days and the pain is gone. Fate has granted me reprieve. Wow, so we're no longer ill. That's very good. We have survived this illness. And what are we going to do now? We could declare independence. But we still do not own oh, Norcross. We could declare independence and then declare war on Frederick in order to get the High Lordship. Hmm. We have tons of allies that could come to our aid. Rui's daughter, Lemoore's brother in law. Hmm. A peasant Revolt has declared its war. I wonder if we should. We definitely have the men, 
to do that, but I wonder if we should actually declare the war just now. I'm a little bit annoyed that I can't give Honeyhold to um, to uh, to Walter. It's very frustrating. So we'll see. Um, I think we're gonna have to declare our independence here. The problem is, if we look at the faction, we have two Beesburys as the the loyalists here. But I think we're still gonna have to do this. Sunhouse, Bandala, and my nephews against us. I think we're just gonna have to go for it though. Why can we not declare the war? Must have a valid Casus Belly. Apparently we do not have a valid Casus Belly. Um, depose him, overthrow the monarchy. His heir is Samuel. His heir is Samuel. Two years old. Hmm. We do not have a valid Casus Belly, that's very odd. Travelers bring rumors. Septon Galford is now riding Spyrax. Why are all these Septons <laughs> riding dragons? They're all West Valyrian. Spyrax is also quite powerful. Hmm. So I definitely want to declare the war, but we'll see. I saw a vassal with a stunning young wife by his side at the feast. I decided to make a toast to the lovely couple. I hope you will live long and happy lives together. I could have sworn the groom would drop dead when you consummate it. Um, so my vassal's maid seems to be quite hot. Um, this guy's maimed. He's somewhat sexual. Um, we lose, we are eager, we lose health when you consummated that marriage. The groom would drop dead. What would we say? Now, since we're gregarious, I think it says socially competent. So I think we wouldn't say something like this, although we are mad. So I guess that's something mad people would do. We're also craven. I don't, I don't entirely think. But you know what? I think I generally would say I would go for this. I think. But because we're mad, I think every other decision, I'm just going to pick the opposite or some random uh, decision. I think that's that, that's the easiest way for me to simulate the madness of this character. Um, yeah. And I think we're so mad we're actually gonna go to the barber and uh, shave our head bald. Um, maybe grow a beard. Since we're so mad now. Yeah, we're actually gonna cut our hair. Look at that. Got a new haircut now that we're a lunatic. But I think what we're gonna do is uh, hold a new feast because we ha we're no longer ill. And that's a good thing. So invite all of our vassals and make everyone happy. So now we still have the claim on Dunsbridge, but we can only claim it if we are independent. And we cannot declare our independence for whatever reason. I think because we're currently fighting in a war together, technically. Not entirely sure, actually. Um, are we going to spend lavishly on the food? I think... I don't want to spend... I think we're just going to spend enough on the food to satisfy everyone's hunger. Um, and these guys will be perfect entertainment, of, of course. And invite everyone. While pondering over the guestless for a feast, I wonder if I should invite my friend, Sir Walter. So I think this is something... Yes. We're gonna do this. Because we're so mad, we're not gonna invite our son and heir and regent to this event. I think that's just something which is mad and we somehow we said, Walter, you're not gonna come. And he confronted me about me not inviting him to the banquet. I did not want you there. So the friendship between Wow, that is pretty tough. I'm sorry about it. Are we sorry? Well, technically we're competent, but I think we're just mad. Hmm. So he, if we say sorry, he's still not gonna come. I think. But we just did not want you there. Yeah. We're mad. Your reports from Old Town that his charity work on your behalf is proceeding well. The poor have been fed and your pious standing has improved. Let's see if we can actually make some new overseas construction. 
Sabotage economy. Brazilitize. Train troops. Suppress revolts. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Um, our nephew is now a pool fighter. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Steve Franca, signing off.